or uh, an article about a, uh, Dr. APJ Karan. Uh, but people don't actively search for that kind of thing. So I want to tell them that kind of inspirational story that uh, has helped me move on so that they can uh, excel in their studies as well. And so some people have started calling me a teacher because of the messages that I said. And a lot of other people have started calling me a professor. So I suppose that I teach some lectures on math and physics. And I talk about inspiration and motivation a lot. But I wouldn't call myself a professor. But I suppose a lot of people have really uh, given me a, a given good feedback to uh, the messages that I have sent in the lectures that I have given. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And my question is, what is the significance of Planck's constant in quantum mechanics and how does it relate to the quantization of energy levels? Oh, right. So Planck's constant is basically just, I believe it's experimentally tested and determined. So it essentially just gives you a way to determine the energy of a wave in quantum mechanics and thereby say the momentum of a wave of something that does not have mass. So it extends the concept of momentum to uh, say photons, which don't have any defined mass, but they still do have momentum in the form of energy. So that's the significance of Planck's constant in quantum mechanics. And uh, by the theories that uh, deploy, I forgot his first name, but I believe it was Louis deploy uh, assembled in quantum mechanics. Uh,